All right, good afternoon, everybody on YouTube. It's Rick Thomas from Opsley Video Services. All right, guys, we're working on this project for the uh, people for the uh, 50th anniversary of being basketball players since 1971, I guess. These guys are in their 70s and 80s now, and just thought I'd just show you guys the process. We're running this deck, or this actual tape on the actual machine that was actually done, which is a Panasonic which you guys know right there. Now the Panasonic came in color and black and white machines. Well, this particular tape was done on a black and white NV3020, I believe, which was a black and white machine. The video was hot, so I was able to actually bring uh, the level down a little bit, back down to under the 100% mark, so it ain't so, so bright and oversaturated. It looks really good. The stability is really, really good. Playback stability is fantastic. Uh, time-based correction corrects a lot of that. Also, time-based correction removed a, a smidgen of the noise that was in this video. It's got a noise reduction built into the card, so when I'm making the adjustments below, I can actually tell it to remove noise at the same time. And as you can see through time-based correction and capturing to a computer, with the levels being where they belong, it's, it's a pretty, pretty decent video. It came out pretty good, actually. Uh, this was shot on a black and white camera and a Panasonic NV3020 is my best guess. It is black and white. It's not color. Um, and as you can see, between the stop and starts, uh, the time-based correction locks that up so it's not drifting everywhere. So when you're running a tape like this, especially one that was recorded you know, at a school or something back during the day with those old black and white cameras on these units, you know, the stability wasn't that great because the, the video technology wasn't that great. EIAJ video technology is not the best, guys. It wasn't the best video in the world. Uh, the cameras were very primitive. They were black and white. Unless you got into the color ones a little later on, they came with the color cameras, which was a much more expensive process. But generally, most people in the public who have this stuff, it's black and white only with cameras. Nine times out of ten. I don't come across uh, color color tapes or color recordings, not very often, but when I do, it's because somebody invested the money on buying a color EIAJ, which is 74 ballpark, 7374, unless they got a, pan, a, a Sony model, which is an AV5000, which was a pilot tone color. But as you can see, time-based correction is really locking this video because it does have stability problems between takes, between stop and starts of whatever camera they were using. But we did lock that into a good video level, so it's highest that it can go, but we just don't want it oversaturating over 100%. This time-based corrector or TBC I use is state-of-the-art studio grade. Noise reduction, and it can compensate for almost any video recorder that's connected into the system. It's a very, very expensive and very, very high-tech piece of equipment that does correct a lot of video problems, especially with some videotapes. If you're buying cheap time-based correctors, they don't all work with old video equipment. You will have issues. Uh, I decided when I built my system, I was going to build it television studio grade, so that way I can get around all these problems with old, old video decks, which is what I did. And especially with a lot of these old open reels and the noise levels that these machines make, you want to have a very, very good, high-professional, pro top-of-the-line TBC. But as you can see, this tape is one hour long. And basically, they recorded it, uh, and he kept, he kept stopping and starting, which drives, which drives video sync crazy on these earlier recorders. This time-based corrector, corrector I use locks it in real fast between break, black, the black breaks between the stops and starts. So it kind of uh, stabilizes the recording all the way through. As you can see, it locks it real quick between the, the stops and starts, which is what you want. That means you got good time-based correction going in between the production of the video. But a lot of people out there can't invest in buying time-based time correctors like this, which is for television stations. There is time-based correctors on eBay, uh, eBay that actually does do the job. You just got to know which ones to buy. A lot of these real cheap time-based correctors don't correct the problems. You still have a lot of issues with tapes. So highly recommend you buy yourself a good TBC when you're on eBay or online because TBCs are everything guys with this type of production if you're dealing with vintage video and obsolete video formats that, that are close to 50 years old into the 60s you need a good time-based corrector to 
to capture good recovery on video when you're playing them back. It's got to be able to really assess the video deck you're coming off of so to correct the errors and issues of the tape and the mechanism itself to get a good stable picture when it's playing back. Basically what a time-based corrector does is it corrects the errors and the mechanics of the VCR that you're playing the tape on. These, tapes are, these tape decks are very noisy and have a lot of error rate and time-based correction locks the video frame so it, it corrects the errors in the, in the video equipment you're coming from the transfer itself. But this is a basketball game from 1971. You know, pretty good quality. It's stable. Tracking is locked. Uh, we got video uh, time base, which is really good on this. And I got the levels down to where they belong. So, anyways, guys, we uh, do a lot of video transfers here at Obsolete Video Services. We specialize in every Obsolete video format there is. You know, and my machines are serviced before they go into service. You get it? You repair them before you actually start using the decks. This is what we do here at Obsolete Video Services. And, of course... As you can see, we're getting incredible, incredible quality out of the recordings that we, that we recover from. If the tapes are recorded really good, as good as they can be done on the machine of the time, then the recovery 50 years later, such as now, you'll be able to recover them really good into a modern format. So here you go, guys. A 50-year tape, 50 years ago, basketball. Hope you guys are watching. Hope you enjoy this recording. It was a pleasure and honor for Obsolete Video Services to work on this. I hope you guys have a great anniversary. This is Obsolete Service, Video Services. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.